Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Eric, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Bioshock Hub. I've really missed saying that, so I hope you guys missed me, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy the video. So, what happened to Bioshock Mobile? That's the first question I want to pose to you guys. Personally, I completely forgot that Bioshock was on mobile, and I didn't even know that Irrational and 2K actually released Bioshock 1 for mobile devices on Apple. So, here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to pose three different topics. One, why did the Bioshock mobile game or the application end up dying? Two, how did it cost this much to actually buy a game for your phone? And three, will this come back to Apple anytime soon? And I will be answering all three of those topics in this video. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and again, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So in the end, what ultimately killed Bioshock Mobile before it even got a chance to get off the ground? Well, I actually have that answer for you. Released in 2014, Bioshock for iOS promised a complete port of the original title first released in 2007. Fans of the franchise were expectedly excited at the prospect of revisiting the world of Rapture and potentially playing sequel titles on the go, but initial reviews fell flat. Bioshock mysteriously vanished from the iOS App Store after the release of iOS 8.4 in June 2015, a concerning development for customers who shelled out $15 for rights to download the game onto their various devices. 2K ultimately issued a statement some three months later, after the launch of iOS 9, saying that while Bioshock is incompatible with iOS 8.4 and above, a forthcoming update would restore the title to full functionality. It seems 2K is no longer interested in expanding the life of the iOS port. Now, I want to actually talk about the hefty price tag that this one application costs. $15 or $14.99 if you want to be technical. To me, that is outrageous. I understand that they uh, ported an entire game to mobile, but $15. I think most apps nowadays, if you have to actually buy them, are anywhere from $0.99 cents to $1.99 to $2.99. I have never seen an application that went past $5 or $10, ever. And to have it at $14.99, and keep in mind, this mobile game came out after the most recent installment of Bioshock, that being Bioshock Infinite. It came out a year after that. So, in my opinion... This was kind of a cash grab. They wanted fans to actually have that nostalgia pop. They see it on the Apple Store, and they want to go and get it because, oh, hey, I love Bioshock, so let's see how it plays on my phone. To me, I don't agree with the price, and to me, I personally don't agree with it ever going through a mobile port. Just because when it actually did come out, Mobile gaming wasn't too hot at the time, and that was, like I said, 2014 to 2015. To me, it just should have never happened, and I feel that Irrational, 2K, and Take-Two ended up losing a lot of money trying to actually make this thing successful. And you guys know how I am with Bioshock. I love the series, I love everything about it, I just don't like it when they try to go to mobile. Because to me, that ruins the experience for anybody that plays it on mobile. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. So for this last part, I thought I was going to incorporate two different things that I personally have thought about into one section. The first part that I'm going to cover is, as I mentioned, could this actually make a return to the Apple Store or the App Store, whichever you want to call it? In my opinion, no. In a lot of others' opinions, no. And then the second thing that I want to cover is would this game and could this game have succeeded if it was prolonged for a couple of years? And we'll dive deeper into that here in a couple of minutes. So, the question, 
will this game ever return to the Apple App Store? And as I said, the question is no. And this is according to somebody who actually worked at Irrational. And the quote goes like this. In June 2015, Bioshock became incompatible with iOS following Apple's version update to 8.4. As a result, the game was removed from the App Store and is no longer supported, the company's support page now reads. As noted by a former Pocket Gamer editor who goes by the handle Killer Crow and subsequently reported by Digital Trends, a previous version of 2K Statement said Bioshock had been temporarily removed from the App Store. For customers, the finality of 2K's update means the game will remain incompatible with devices running anything newer than iOS 8.3. When Apple issued iOS 8.4, its latest generation devices were iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, and the iPod Air 2. So, as Apple ended up increasing their iOS, that's what ended up ultimately killing the game as well. Because it wasn't compatible with anything after iOS 8.3. So, it's such a shame that it happened, but... Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Now the second thing I wanted to talk about is could this game have survived if it was prolonged for a couple of days later? And honestly, I think it could. And the reason why I say that is because the more and more phones that come out, the better the computer inside the phone would have been. For instance, you look at what Ninja and Fortnite are doing with the Samsung Galaxy S9 I believe. You can actually run Fortnite on that game damn near perfectly. You actually get rewards in-game for buying that phone. And I'm sure with the uh, Apple... Er, sorry, the newest Apple iPhone, which is I think the iPhone 10 or the iPhone XR, whatever it may be, you might actually be able to run it on there because, again, as cell phones evolve in technology the computers inside will get more and more faster and be able to actually take the workload of running a game in damn near perfect quality. So I do believe this game could have survived. I just believe that at the time when 2K and Irrational actually shipped this out in 2014, that it just wasn't the right time for a game that size to go on mobile. With that being said, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Let me know if you knew about Bioshock Mobile. Let me know if you played Bioshock Mobile and what you thought. And then also let me know if you would like a Bioshock Mobile in the future. The last thing I'm going to say is all of my sources are going to be down in the description like I always do for videos like this where I actually have to do the research. That way you guys can check them out for yourself. I'm also going to leave down in the description a side-by-side -side comparison of the mobile version of Bioshock versus the Xbox 360 version of Bioshock. And that way you guys can kind of see the details between the two games and the graphics between the two games. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, would you kindly drop a like? If you're new here and want to see more or want to help the Rapture family grow, would you kindly subscribe, share the video with some family and friends, and be sure to follow me on Twitter and my uh, Discord server. Both links will be down in the description below for you guys. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I really missed making videos and expect more here within a couple of days. So, thank you guys and I will talk to you all in the next video. Take care. Hey guys, very quickly I just wanted to announce a Christmas giveaway because I want to give back to the people who have been supporting me for the longest time now. So, there's only going to be three rules. One, you must be an active subscriber of the channel. And I can check how long you guys have been subscribed for, so I don't want to see anybody coming in at the last second saying that they've been subscribed since the start of the channel. Believe me, I can check. Two, you have to like this video, leave a comment, tell me which system you would like the Bioshock Infinite copy on, and that's going to go into the next list. And then three, follow me on Twitter, because that's where I'll be announcing the winners of the giveaway. So, what can you win as a Christmas gift from me? Number one, 
10 lucky winners will win a personally autographed piece of Bioshock memorabilia from me. So, I think you guys might like that one. Number 2. 5 lucky winners will be added to my personal PSN and we can have a one-on-one -on -one chat or we can play together. Whatever you guys want, I want to be able to talk to more fans and subscribers as best as I can. Number 3. Three lucky winners will win Bioshock the Collection from the console or, let's say if you want PC, whatever your playing platform is of choice. And then finally, number four. Two lucky winners will win an autographed copy from me of Bioshock the Collection with a, with a personal thank you note from me again. Winners will be chosen on December 23rd, and I should be able to ship them out after the holiday. So, if this is something that interests you guys... Let me know down in the comment section below. And with that being said, good luck to all the people that enter. I will try to do the best that I can to use a random number generator in order to pick enough people. So, again, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Take care.